in a hadith of Anas ibn Malik radiyallahu anhu the Prophet said tasahharu fa inna fi suhuri barakah hadith which is in al-Bukhari and Muslim the Prophet said have the suhoor for indeed within it is blessings have the suhoor meal in the morning the pre-dawn meal as they say for indeed within it there are blessings so this hadith tells us it is a sunnah to have the suhoor in the morning it's not just something people do out of habit it is actually a sunnah to have that suhoor meal before the fajr there are a few issues here the first of them is when exactly should that suhoor meal be had so when exactly should it be had close to the adhan of fajr so before the adhan of fajr very close to it meaning before the end time when you have to stop eating as they call it on the calendars the end time or the the closing time which is supposed to be if the calendar is made properly that is supposed to be the time fajr enters so the suhoor is supposed to be had just before very close to the fajr time entering so for example nowadays fajr enters maybe just after 4 a.m so if let's say for example fajr enters at 4 a.m sunrise is maybe 5 30 a.m so that means if you're gonna fast you should have your suhoor finish it off just before 4 a.m just before 4 a.m five minutes ten minutes just just when there's time before 4 a.m finish your suhoor then you're not supposed to have suhoor at midnight and go to sleep and say that is my suhoor and you're not gonna get up at 3 30 a.m to have the meal that is incorrect suhoor is supposed to be done in the last part of the night just before the fajr time is going to enter so if fajr is entering at 4 a.m you should be having the suhoor at 3 30 3 40 3 45 a.m so that you finish eating when there's just five or ten minutes left a few minutes left before the fajr time actually enters there is a hadith that tells us exactly when the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam used to have the suhoor there is a hadith where one of the companions was asked what was the gap the time period from when the prophet وسلم, had the suhoor up until the fajr time the iqama the adhana fajr he said the gap was the quantity of time that it takes to read 55 ayahs of the quran so imagine reading 50 ayat of the quran 50 that would take what five minutes 10 minutes that's all 50 ayat of the quran three or four pages of the quran how long would it take to read three or four pages of the quran a few pages of the quran five ten minutes that is all there used to be from when the prophet ﷺ had the suhoor up until the fajr five or ten minutes gap which shows that the suhoor is supposed to be right at the end just before the uh, entry time of fajr of course you have to make sure you finish before the entry time do not delay it so much but you delay it coming close to that time so you finish off with just a few minutes left 